Hi, so we have a problem which was sent by Mr. Sarthak from India and in this problem we have a regular hexagon with a side equal to 1 cm. So let us first draw a regular hexagon. Yes, first we draw a circle and then by taking the same radius I will cut few arcs. First I will keep the tip of the compass over here and cut this arc and next time I'll keep the tip of the compass over here and then I will cut over here and by doing so I'll actually divide the circumference of the circle into six equal parts and when I join all these six points I will get a regular hexagon where each side will be equal to the radius of this circle so it will look something like this this is the center of the circle and in this particular case the radius of the circle has to be one centimeter so all these radii and all the side all of them are equal to one centimeter so if we see carefully this a f e o is actually a rhombus whose each side is equal to one centimeter and its smaller diagonal is also equal to one centimeter that means these triangle a o f and f e o these are equilateral triangles so if i talk about the long diagonal of this rhombus so these two diagonals will intersect each other at 90 degrees and this much will be the height of this triangle AFO and the height of the equilateral triangle is given as root 3 divided by 2 multiplied by the side and side over here is 1 centimeter so this will be the height of the triangle and the length of the diagonal will actually be 2 times the height of the triangle so AE is actually equal to root 3 and why we have found this because in the next step we are making a triangle by joining points A, C and E. I will get an equilateral triangle like this because all these rhombus are congruent and all the sides of this triangle are actually the longer diagonals of these rhombus and the length of each longer diagonal will be equal to root 3 centimeters. So there are two special things about the diagonals of the rhombus. First is they are perpendicular to each other and second thing is they bisect each other at the point of intersection. That means these points are through the midpoints of the side and now in another step we have to draw another triangle which is made by joining midpoints of AF, TE and PC. So that triangle will look something like this, right? If I talk about length of each side of this triangle, it will actually be half of the sum of these two sides. This will actually be equal to 1.5 centimeters. And now what we have to find? We have to find the area of the small convex hexagon. So this is the small hexagon we are talking about. The area of this small hexagon can be found by finding the area of this triangle and then removing the areas of these three triangles and all these three triangles are congruent. So here triangle AEC is an equilateral triangle and the area of equilateral triangle is given as root 3 divided by 4 multiplied by side square. The area of triangle AEC will be equal to root 3 divided by 4 multiplied by the square of side root 3 multiplied by root 3 equal to 3 root 3 divided by 4. And now let us talk about this triangle. Let me call this point as point P and if I call this point as point S then P is the midpoint of EC that means PC is equal to root 3 divided by 2 and this will also be equal to if I call this point as point Q then this will be equal to QC because Q is the midpoint of side EC and B EDC is a trapezium where X and Z are the midpoints of two non-parallel sides. That means YZ will actually be parallel to both EB and DC and this will also bisect the side QC. So S is the midpoint of QC. That means SC will be equal to QC divided by 2 or it will be equal to root 3 divided by 2. 4. So if we see for this triangle, triangle PSC where angle S is equal to 90 degrees and I have found SC and if I can find PS also I can find the area of this small triangle. So PS will be equal to square root of PC square minus SC square. So this will be equal to square root of root 3 divided by 4 multiplied by 3 root 3 divided by 4. So PS will be equal to 3 divided by 4 
centimeters right so we have found SC and we have found PS so the area of triangle PSC will be equal to half multiplied by SC which is root 3 divided by 4 multiplied by PS which is 3 divided by 4 so this will be equal to 3 root 3 divided by 32 so the area of triangle PSC we have found is equal to 3 root 3 divided by 32 so area of this hexagon will be equal to area of triangle AEC minus 3 times the area of triangle PSC. So this will be equal to 3 root 3 divided by 4 minus 3 times 3 root 3 divided by 32. So 3 root 3 can be taken common and this 4 can also be taken common. So inside the bracket I'll have 1 minus 3 divided by 8. So this will be equal to 15 root 3 divided by 32. So this will be the area of this small hexagon. So that's all for this video. Thank you Sarthak for sending this problem to me. And if you also have any problem which you want to share with us, please send your problem to the number shown on the screen. And for many more such problems, many more interesting videos, keep watching MathSmart, subscribe to it and bye bye till then.